Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good morning, you said. It's a habit. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? All good. All is well? Yeah. Actually, today I am like, like you were yesterday because it just rained like no more than five minutes and it's very hot now. Yeah. Yeah, when it rains like five minutes, I don't know. It's It just gets hotter. Yeah. It's weird. All right. So um, let me see. There's Claudia. We have David. We have Alejandra. Jose Isaias. There is Jose Wilfredo. So what is your name, Jose Wilfredo, in your job? JW or just Jose? We have Carla, Anna. And David Samuel. Hold on, give me one second. Okay. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Cool. Okay, so yesterday we were doing the um, rhetorical questions, correct? Yes, sir. This is like things that were there. Okay, let me see. We did this reading. I I think we finished right here. Then the class got, the class got disconnected. <laughs> okay, give me one second. I will be one back in one minute. Hold on, please.
I'm sorry, I was speaking on mute. Okay, so let's continue with the reading. Remember when um, yesterday we spoke about this? When <clears throat> when um, when you have the exam and you're going, let's say if this is the exam, you're going to do this reading. What is a good what is a good thing, a good recommendation to do first? I think it could be to read the the, the question. different answer. Well, yeah, okay. Or read the question. <laughs> so listen, according to yeah. the passage, yeah. what achievement achievement did uh, Borglum pride himself on? So we're going to look for achievements and something with pride about Borglum. So this is just to get you an idea, right? Okay, let's do the reading. We have one, two, three paragraphs. Dennis, can you read the first paragraph, sir? Sure. Every year, about two million people visit Mount Rushmore, where the faces of, of four U.S. presidents were carved in granite by the sculptor Goodson Borglum and his son. The creation of the Mount Rushmore monument took 14 years from 1927 to 1941 and nearly a million dollars. These were times when money was difficult to come by and many people were jobless. To help him with this sculptor, Borglum hired lay, laid off workers from the clothes down mines in the Black Hills area of South Dakota. Mm -hmm. He taught his men to dynamite, drill, carve, and finish the granite as they were hanging in mid-air in his specially device, devised chairs, which had many safety features. Okay, thank you. Can you Choose somebody for the next um, paragraph, please. Sure. Let me take a look. I guess um, Jose Isaias. Okay. Okay. Second paragraph, right? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, Borglum used dynamite to remove. 90% of 150,000 tons of rock from the mountain quickly and rel relatively inexpensively. His workmen became so skilled that without causing damage, damage. they could damage. They could last within for each of the finishes surface and gray the curtains of the special feature. Orgloom was proud of the fact that no workers were killed or seriously injured during the years of blasting and carving the granite, considering that workers regularly use dynamite and heavy equipment. This was a remarkable fit. Okay, do you have any questions? Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay. okay. Can you can you pick the third person please? Okay, let me check. Pick a lady. Uh, 
Ah, ok. Claudia Marcela. Ok. Mm. During the carving, many changes in the original design had to be made to keep the cupboard heads free of large features uh, that were uncovered. However, not all the crack would be avoided. So, Borgum concocted a mixture of granite dust, while lit and linseed oil to fill them. Can you finish it, please? Okay. And every winter water from melting snow gets into the fissures and spans as it freezes, making the fissures bigger. Consequently, every autumn maintain maintenance and work is done to refill the crops to preserve this national Hold on, Monument sorry. for future? Yes, hold on, I'm sorry. I... For future generations, mm -hmm. uh, the repairers swing out in space over 500 foot drop and fit the monument uh, with the same mixture that Bergen used. Okay, good. First of all, class, do you know what Mount Rush Mount Rushmore is? You mean where is located? No, you or... know what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have seen several pictures about that, and actually, it's, it's very famous in the in the United States. Yes. I'm not sure. I don't remember the the presidents that were sculptor in it's, that. It's the founding mountain. fathers. It's like um. Lincoln, Washington, and I forgot the other. But it, it's very famous because it's it's um it's the founding fathers and and really it's a nice sculpture. And seeing all the work it took. But I, I was wondering, teacher, who paid for that? Because I think that it is not clear in the in the text because it, it just says that about let's see uh, a million dollars but a million dollar uh, in that uh, in 1927 to 1941 mm -hmm. it was a lot yes so maybe the government did maybe the government okay. maybe the state that's a very good question who who financed that yeah but and, obviously, but, I think it, would ha it had to be the government. Yeah, because it's a lot of money. And by the way, what means laid off? Laid off yeah, workers. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you that. Um, There's a difference. Okay. Um, well, you work independently, right, Dennis? Let's say Jose Wifredo. What happens if... If in your job they catch you smoking marijuana in the bathroom, they fire you directly. Yeah, it's a fire. Yeah, they fire you yep. directly. Fire. Yeah. Okay. So fired is right. because you did something. Mm -hmm. Laid off is when a comp something closes in the company. Maybe it's not your fault. For example, imagine um, Siman. I don't know how many Simans are there in El Salvador, but imagine there are 10 Simans in El Salvador and they're going to close five. So unfortunately, they have to lay off those people. There's no option. So do you know what layoff is? It's so your... it, it, oh. sorry. Sorry. It's like people without an, an employee uh, without a job, but because they were not fired. Yeah, fire. you yes, you were let go. You're ter like terminated. You're terminated, but um for 
Rodrigo Antonio Melendez, you just connected. Are you there? Hold on, class. <laughs> Rodrigo. Yes, Some... teacher. Oh Good my evening. God. Hello, Rodrigo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Wow, I finally hear your voice. Was that you, Rodrigo, or somebody else? <laughs> okay, well, I heard you, Rodrigo, so thank you. Um, <laughs> so listen, late, laid off is when um, there's a motive for the, the company is going to close. Uh, they're going to shorten the staff. You know, it happens everywhere. But when you get fired, it's because you did something. Yes? Got you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been laid off? I do. I do. Actually, I, I have. used to. Oh, I have. I have. Yeah. I used to work at... Uh, Kimberly Clark, like six years ago. And I would say that I got fired, but now with the with this definition, so I think that I that I should be, I, I should say uh, I you I was laid off. off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they they will were just uh, removing people because they were due to financial decisions. Mm -hmm. so they they were looking to save money so they removed of course a lot of people a Is lot it, of people in the company do you think there's a word for laid off in spanish no i think i think there is... personal sí pero si uno llega a la casa y dice hey qué te pasó me despidieron yeah o sea se oye feo because in english in english you can say two things hey what happened oh i got fired <laughs> what you do but if you say hey what happened oh i got laid off oh man what happened you know like for example if you work in a call center i got laid off what happened oh my account closed yeah. or um and i didn't want to go to another account or or this but as you know i got fired <laughs> what did you do <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah Sí, porque... oh, that, this, uh, I'm sorry, but sometimes had happened to me that I've been resting with no with no pay, no no payment cycle. I don't remember how the name of that uh, that status, but in Spanish, in in the common words, it doesn't exist. That days you are you are not working. But I took advantage and I did some personal errors. I don't remember. I just remember it started with an O. <laughs> um, but it because... Is it we LOA? No, we were overstaffing and they requested who wanted volunteer to rest with no pay. I don't remember. Um, it's not OT. It's... Uh, pay, uh, leave of absence. No. Hmm? I think it's leave of absence. Um, I no, don't. Leave of absence is when someone uh, is sick, right? Is no. sick, but doesn't uh, but don't import it to the to the to the office. That's uh, a leave of absence. What is the name when when you go out and and it's not? I don't remember the name. Yeah, yeah but... hmm? we have a PTO. Pain PTO, time off. that is the word. Yeah, but we off. have a BH voluntary go home. Oh yeah, voluntary, voluntary go, go home. home. That is that is the uh -huh. word. Mm -hmm. and, and had happened to me one years before Christmas. They were overstaffing. Of mm -hmm. course, I volunteered because I had a lot of personal <laughs> errors to do, and because that period it came after the they paid the annual bonus, <laughs> Inaldo, so oh, I yeah. took advantage. Christmas I needed bonus. time. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I I remember I used Christmas to work. Bonus. I worked in mm -hmm. Dell for six seven years in Google. And Dell had one thing that every time you completed one year, they give you one one day off. Oh, that but that was Dell. And do you yeah. remember that you've been working 
on a holiday they gave you two rest day yes but that was there but at it, the end they say it was a mistake <laughs> it, it, yes it was cool because when it was vacation time you know your yearly vacation you plan everything so i remember i yes. i would take my vacations i would plan my vacations on a like 20 holiday <laughs> <laughs> and I would ask for all my days and <laughs> everything. So I yeah. almost took a month. Exactly. I remember those days. <laughs> yeah, those were the good old days. <laughs> but that uh, is the, the, the word that in, in in Spanish, we don't use that. I don't know if I... Yes, in Spanish, it. in Spanish, uh, I guess you have to say me despidieron and then you have to give the reason por le corte, pers por le corte mm -hmm. de personal o por... Or, no sé, eh, ¿por qué más podría ser el corte personal? Problemas económicos. Any, whatever. Corrección del área. Exactly. Uh -huh. But in English, it's later on. In the pandemic time, in the pandemic time, many people eh, was say that they, they need to put in pause, le, lo pusieron en pausa to put in pause because we don't have money to pay and and we don't have a, a, a job for you to do and uh, wow. there were people that was 10 months or 12 months in in, in, in pause uh, that was the the the, the word that they use on that in pause oh yeah you know in the covid it was the best time of my life <laughs> working because I promise you, I spent one complete year doing nothing in my house. Even my supervisor told me, hey, just log in and log out at your... I remember I used to work from six to four. So I just used to wake up and log in because I, I worked in Google and Google closed in the United States. Wow. But Google paid all their employees. So they, they paid it there. Um, so I remember my only job was to wake up at, I don't know, 5.55, <laughs> turn on my computer, log in, and go back to sleep. Mm. And then log off at 4. <laughs> awesome. was, it was so beautiful. For one year, I was really, <laughs> it was free money. Uh, nice. I wish I could go back to those days. <laughs> All right, so any more questions here? South Dakota, he thought this. Man. So according to the question, what do you think was he proud of? Do you think he was, uh, this man was proud of the sculptures? What do you think he was proud of? He was proud of because uh, the workers doesn't have uh, issues. Yes, that no one got hurt. And that's that's something big because even today with the modern world, people that do that, they always somebody always dies. And imagine in that time. So he was a very good um planning man. So it says, according to the passage, what achievement did Borglum pride himself on? The four presidential faces in granite that he had sculptured? The removal of 90% of the 450,000 tons of rock quickly and at a relative low cost. His safety record of no death or serious injuries during the years of work with heavy equipment and dynamite. Or his skillful training of the labor force that enabled blasts for dynamite to be within inches of the contour line of the faces. What do you think he was mostly proud of? Letter C. Letter C. Good. The safety record. The safety record. Mm -hmm. Yes. I remember uh, also, since we're talking about work, in in Telos, Cascadas, there was this person that um he was walking in and I don't know how, nobody knows how, the glass door broke when he opened. 
the glass door. And there's a rumor that Talos gave him a lot of money. And nothing happened to him. Really? Yeah, it was just like nothing. He didn't even get scratch. Or I think he didn't get like a little scratch. But I think he was being smart, like, hey, <laughs> this is an opportunity. And I was very angry because I say, why why can't that happen to me? <laughs> if that would have happened to me, I would have jumped. Ah. <laughs> I would have jumped in the glass and cut myself. Oh my God, I'm going to die. No, I'm joking. Okay, um, number two, it says, according to the passage today, Mount Rushmore needs to be A, protected for, from air pollution, polished for tourists, restored during the winter, repaired periodically. Repair periodically. Yes, letter D. They need to fill the holes. Yes. Okay, instructions. Read the article and select the correct answer. Let's read the question. According to the passage, the dispersed finds from Teotihuacan, Teotihuacan indicates that a Teotihuacan isn't that the Sueño de Fuga? No. Sorry? Did you watch that movie? I don't know. Oh. Is that is the one where Morgan Freeman yes. appears? Yes, when they escaped oh. jail. But aquí fue donde se fueron, Teotihuacán. I don't remember, but yeah, the, 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 there is a... No, I'm not sure, but... I think it's, it's where they left. Is the Shaw's Shaw's Shunk Redemption? It's a very yeah. good movie, man. Yeah, I agree. Yes, yes. You've yes, seen I, it, David? I, I saw. Remember, yes. remember, he gave him a letter. He says, "If you ever free, find me in Teotihuacan." I think he was there. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. It was it was something name name like Isguatan. Yeah, it was. Oh, okay. Okay, that's an excellent movie. Okay, so who was the last person to read? I believe it was Claudia, correct? Correct. Claudia, do me a favor. Can you pick, pick the next person? We have one, two, three, four paragraphs. Pick the next person, but somebody who has not participated. Pick Rodrigo Daniel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he said uh, hi. Alejandra? He said hi. Okay, Alejandra. Okay. Let me um. Okay, can you read? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. All right, go ahead. Teotihuacan is the largest and most impressive urban archaeological site of ancient America covering an area of roughly 20 square kilometers. The city was the one at one time thought to be the religious centers of the Toltecs, but it's now believed to be a creation of an earlier civilization about whose origins little is, is known. The earliest artifacts from Teotihuacan day from over 2000 years ago, but the period of the greatest exp expansion dates from 200 CE uh, to 500 CE. <laughs> At its peak, uh, the city is est estimated to have had a pol population of two 200,000 in a year in habitants with residential areas extending throughout the built up area. Judging by religionally uh, dispersed find of the image of the rain god Tlaloc, 
of this orange were pot pottery and of the characteristics architectural forms. The influence of Teotihuacan was why this, this spread. Okay. It's not, uh, okay. No, 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 hold on, hold on. One thing, what is CE? Mm -hmm. Century? Well, what is BC? Before Christ. Before Christ. What is AD? Before but uh, Christ, Christ, is, no Christ, Christ, what? After, because in Spanish we use antes de Cristo, después de Cristo. Mm. Well, check it out. Anno Domini, is uh, el año del uh -huh. Señor. Adonimus, uh -huh. AD stands for Anno Domini, yes. Latin Anno for Domini. in the year of the Lord. So yes, yes. it's after Christ. But, um, CE means current era. Current era, yes. Current era, yes. Oh, yeah. Common era. I'm sorry. It was common era. Uh, common era or Christian era? CE. Christian era, maybe. Uh, used when Christian. referring to a year after the birth of Christ, of Jesus yes. Christ. When the Christian, um, I have a question. Who is religious here? Me. Okay. Who is Jesucristo? I mean, I'm, I'm, I know who he is, but I'm sorry. What, what is the correct way? Jesus Cristo or Jesucristo? Do we say yeah, it I wrong? Have I have say different it? names. I have different names because the language. Is a in a sun a crisis in a in big. Jesus is in a in the common language of the uh, every people like Aramaic. And okay, but it's but, the same. It's but, the same name. No, I understand it's the same. But my question is, are we saying it correctly? It's like it's like okay. Let me give you an example. It's like when we say Buenos Dias. Do you know that's not correct? Buenos Dias is correct. No, it's not. It's actually buen dia. But we just say buenos dias for normally because buenos dias is plural. Yes, but it's correct because you are adding emphasis. Is it's a, an emphasis. A, 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 it's an emphasis. Yes, yes. Yes. But actually, the really the correct way would be buen dia. The, the formal yes, the but... form, grammatical way. So my, no, but my question is like, okay, Jesucristo is one is one complete word. Are we saying it wrongly or is correct, or is the correct way Jesus Cristo? I always wonder that. Yes, the, her name was Jesus. His his name his name sorry his name was Jesus, but uh, the Christ was the the title. The title, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, the title. Yes. So and actually, it, it should be Jesus Cristo. Cristo. Okay. Ah, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. So. The common era would be the Christian era. Christian, yes. After Christ. After Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, who read? Alejandra, thank you. Where did we finish, Alejandra? I'm sorry. Two lines before the end of the paragraph. It is not clear what caused the city's decline. Uh, it is not it's clear. the part that is missing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It is not clear what caused the city's decline and eventual abandonment, but the evidence points to the overpopulation, a depletion of resources, and a possible sacking by adversaries. Okay, um, Alejandra, can you choose the next person, please? Mm, let me see. Someone who has not participated, so that way everybody can participate. Rosa Maria del Milagro. <laughs> okay, Rosa Maria del Milagro Perez de la Paz Hernández. De Paz. Joel. <laughs> de, oh, de Paz. Yes, no, it's de la Paz. Yes, yeah. de Paz. I'm sorry, it's, yes, it's de Paz. No is that your married name? Where I, where I, 
Please start with the primary axis. Ah, okay. The primary axis of the city was the Avenue of the Deal, which extends for 2.5 kilometer through. The center of the urban area is starting in the north of the moon place and continuing beyond the great compound explicit to the south. The avenue divided Teotihuacan into two sections with apartment compound around ar and on either side. Often symmetrically, suggestion a highly planned layout from the earliest phases of construction of construction okay good thank the you bus? yeah we, we, okay uh i think we can stop there because it's only two more paragraphs ah, so that way everybody okay. can participate okay. you know when i read about this it's like dude aliens have to exist <laughs> i think the same yes it's when i read about the pyramids it's like, for example, the Easter Islands, that's incredible. How can they have two faces looking straight in the eyes in the two continents of the world? That's that, that's so fascinating. I wish if, if I were single and I had a lot of time, I would like to study a little bit more about that. Okay, Rosa Maria del Milagro Perez de Paz. <laughs> I like saying your name completely. I could imagine you ordering a pizza in the United States. Hi, thank you for calling Domino's. Can I help you? Yes, I want a pepperoni pizza. Okay. Can I have your name, please? Yes, Rosa Maria Milagro Perez de Paz. What? <laughs> Rosa they, Maria. They only says it's Rose. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they would say, you know what? Uh, I'll put I'll put Rose, okay? <laughs> yeah, Rose, yes. <laughs> okay, Rosa Maria, pick somebody, please. To start with the vast pyramid of the sun. Who is next? Uh, yes. Ro Rosa Maria, pick somebody, please. Okay. Um... Perla Yasmin? There she is. Okay. Okay. Um... The, what, the vast pyramid of the sun located in the middle of the central zone is the tallest and most dominant structure on Tehuatihuacan, with a height of 65 meters on a base covering approximately 10 acres. acres. At one time, acres, acres. At one time, the edifice was surmounted by a temple, a cave located underneath the pyramid and possibly used for ritual activity hint at its religious importance, the pyramid of the moon and feather serpent are other not, not, notable ceremonial sites nearby. Nearby. Nearby, okay. Okay, awesome. Questions? Can you imagine living in that time? It must have been... I would I would have liked to live in that time. It, it was crazy. It, everything was violence. Imagine like like right now. Oh my God, it's hot. It's hot. We need rain. Here, God, we we will kill five women for you to send us rain, and then we sacrifice. Yeah, I mean whatever idea the. We will sacrifice ten people for you, God. Oh man. They were very smart people, but they were very um, violent. Okay, thank you very much for your reading, Carla Jasmine. You you read pretty quick. <laughs> okay, um, I can't I can't take this. Okay, uh, Carla, can you choose the last person, please, to read the last paragraph? OK, 
okay, let me see Ana Claudia. Okay. So I must start from the bus. A particular feature. No, a particular feature. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A particular feature of the archi architecture of many of the pyramidal platforms at this at this site is the series of sloping apron April walls. walls. April. Ah, okay. Apron walls, known as taluts. Taluts. Inters yes. interspersed. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Inter interspersed. Inter Okay, with the vertical panel, tableros, producing a step-like appearance. Originally, all such structure would have been covered with a layer of stucco and then painted, often with uh, pictures of animals and mythological uh, creatures. So can you imagine they were architects? Ah, yes, of course. Did you ever see that movie, History of the World? If it's, it's something in Netflix, I... No, no, it's actually a very old movie. It's from the 80s. It's for Mel Brooks. It's a comedy. Uh, I guess. I don't remember. Maybe. <laughs> but really, it's funny because it talks about the history of the world. <laughs> so it starts with the dinosaurs and then the the, the great um, study the, of the world. The history of the world. I think in Spanish it's called the Loca Historia del Mundo. Yes. I believe so. It's yeah. very it's very funny, but it's very accurate. Because they, they it starts like with the cavemen, the dinosaurs, and then it's a story. And then they move to um C E time. You know. Remember what CE time is? The CE meaning the common no, era, yeah. and then the revolution, the French Revolution. Well, until it finishes in modern time, but it, it's funny. Mm -hmm. um, especially the last part, the La Última Cena with Jesus Christ. Estaba el mesero. He, the the in the settle, the waiter he always interrupted, and Jesus was like, "Okay, somebody here is going to betray me." <laughs> and then and then the waiter says, "Judas, what what do you want more milk?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's very funny. I, I the, it's they um there's a part about Moses. That mm -hmm. he actually had, like, he, he appeared, oh, he was very old and he had three tablets. <laughs> he says, I have here the 15 commandments. And he trips on the on, and he drops one and breaks one. So he says, okay, so it's 10 commandments. So according to the movie, there were 15 commandments, <laughs> but he broke one tablet. So, um, but it's very good. It's a very, very good movie because it talks about the French Revolution, about everything. I recommend you if you ever have time. Okay. Okay, so according to the passage, the dispersed finds from Teotihuacan indicates that the city is over 2,000 years old. The city had an estimated population of as many as 200,000 inhabitants. The residential areas extended throughout the urbanized area. The city greatly influenced the surrounding areas. What do you think this is? The city greatly influenced the surrounding areas. Yeah, this is what I would put too. Did anybody put anything different? I, letter B? 
I would be between C and D. The city, uh, you said B, the city had an estimated population of as many as 200,000 inhabitants. But uh, uh, according to the passage, the dispersant finds that that, that uh, expression I, I can understand. Okay, dispersed. Yes, dispersed. Let's see what this means. Dispersed, past tense. Distribute or spread over a wide area. So disperse, it's like when you spread. Okay, let's see the options again. So okay. listen, according to the passage, the dispersed finds, what do you think? So what do you think dispersed finds is? Like uh, ruins? Yes, but actually it's what people found, not in only one area, they found because everything was dispersed. Mm. Do you understand, David, what dispersed is? Like divided? Yes. Like what? Like divided? Yeah. Is we said in Spanish? I would say like spread. Lo, lo, lo amplio de, de, exactly. De yes, yes, yes. I got it. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are synonyms like spread. For that. For that reason, I said the letter B. But okay. uh, it could be letter C, too, because the residential areas stand through the urbanized area. Yes, I would be, uh, yes, I would get confused between C and D, but I see why you say B. That's very good. So, what do you guys think? Could you please scroll down the text because I want to see the beginning. Scroll up, please. Yes, miss. Oh, you want to see the reading? Yes, this. Teotihuacan is the largest and most this impressive this urban and cultural site of Asian America, covering an area of roughly twenty. Square Sport. kilometers. Okay, so we're not talking about the fines yet. We're just saying how big it is. The city was at one time taught to be the religious center of the Toltecs, but is now believed to be a creation of an earlier civilization about whose origins little is known. Okay, so we let me see. We still haven't talked about the dispersed finds from, you know, okay, so the earliest artifacts from Teotihuacan date from over 2,000 years ago, but the period of the greatest expansion that is, dates, the greatest expansion dates, yes. Uh -huh, the period of the greatest expansion dates from 200 CE to 500 CE. But let me see, let, listen, according to the passage, the dispersed finds from the Tehuacan indicate that the city is over 2,000 years old. Yeah. Wait. Wait, oh wait, hold on. The earliest artifact, okay, we're starting the first part. <laughs> Let, let's finish it. Remember what the what the um, hints told you. Finish the whole sentence because, okay, it's covered. Like right now, this is covered. Yes. This has just covered this, but I'm going to see this other options. From to 500 CE. At its peak, the city is estimated to have had a population of up to 200,000 inhabitants. Okay, now this is covered. Yes, but yes. remember the point is lo encontrado, the finds. That's what we're looking for. Have a population of two hundred thousand, which residential area extending through the built-up area. Judging, 
Ah, judging. What is judging? De acuerdo o juzgando por. Uh -huh. So this is an opinion here. Judging by the originality, the first finds of the image of the rain god Talok of thin orange ware, pottery, and the characteristics, architectural form, the influence of Teowicatay. <laughs> um, ya me huele la lengua. <laughs> the influence of Teotihuacan was widespread. And that is the point to overpopulation. The, the two lines below overpopulation. For the reason I see is 2,000, uh, 300,000 inhabitants. If you read two, li two lines more, was widespread is not clear what causes the serious decline and eventual mm -hmm. but the evidence points to over population is the first one uh depletion of resources the second one and the possible cycle by the but, but if you notice it's talking about the influence because do you know what pottery is yes is this uh, the 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 last, like uh, like in ilovasco right? pottery in, uh, yes yes so remember are they really talking about people or the influence of the culture so that that's what we have to look for because if they're talking about people, yes, definitely it's 200,000 inhabitants. But if we're yeah, talking about is... culturally, the city greatly influenced the surrounding areas. But did you read two lines? Okay, more? let's read them. That is overpopulation. Okay. okay, let me see. Pottery and the characteristic architectural forms. The influence of Teo, Teo Tijuacan was widespread. It is not clear what caused the city's decline and eventual abandonment, but evidence points to overpopulation and depletion of resources and possible sacking by advertisers. Okay. Now, when something says it is not clear, so that's obviously there's no information. And here is giving you a straight information that 200,000 inhabitants. So really, I wouldn't put this. But that's me. Everybody, you have a different idea. That's why you have to really work on this. I would really, I haven't done this in, in many years. I don't, I don't remember. But I would actually, I, I am stuck between C and D. I think it would be D. Well, let's say uh, anybody, A, B, C, or D? Okay, uh, da David Samuel says it's B. I We're incline on A. On E. We're going on D. No, letter A. A. For me, A. Letter, D. letter A, yeah. The, only, the city is over 2,000 years old. That's also true. <laughs> yes we're going to we're going to this is very difficult you see this is why i hate i told you i hate tofu <laughs> because it's it, it really makes you think but you know what i have the answers show the answer mm -hmm. okay since we only i got the five minute warning that's what happened yesterday that, that's why the class got cut so we have a Let's do number two. According to the passage, which of the following statements about the decline of Teotihuacan is known to be true? Okay. It could be letter D because in the text mentioned that it's not clear. Yes, the, the states that exactly. Yes, I would yes. definitely go for this. The cause of the decline is uncertain. That's what I just mentioned. When anything says it's uncertain, there's no evidence. And number three, according to the passage, the symmetrical layout around the advent avenue of the dead is what I divided into two city into two sections of one had uh, the parent compounds of the living started the moon plaza, which continued past great compound complexes and extended as far as the center of the urban area, included a primary axis of the city, 
All of them are true, but I think that the last one, the D. Indicated yeah, the because it mentioned, yeah, it mentioned something related to that. Okay, cool, so yes. I, I, yeah, I think it's D. Okay, let's say it's D. So A is the one that I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to put D. Let's see. Oh, yes, it was D. Yes, the letter D. Yes, the city greatly influenced the surrounding areas. Why I chose that? Because that's not that answer is not wrong. You can read the complete paragraph. I mean, you can read the complete story and then read the four options. Yes, it did mention 2,000 years old, but on a specific time. Yes, the city had an estimated population of 200,000 inhabitants, but it was the complete story was not about the 200,000 inhabitants. The residential areas extended throughout the, yes, it mentions that, but it, really it was really not about that. So at the end, this sounds more logical. It was, a, it had a, a very big influence. Pero, David, you're right on your answer. Uh, a, so, all, all, a, they have are true, yes. all of them are true, yes. A, yeah. a also is true. But here using, remember, I told you Monday, I hate TOEFL. <laughs> yeah. Whoever invented TOEFL was a very rude person. <laughs> but you see, this is what you have to do. You have to, um, if you notice that the, the exam is going to be a little tricky. Yes. It's going to try to trick you. So if it looks too easy. If it looks too easy, think about it. Yes. Come on. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yes. And then go for your instinct. Okay, class. Thank you very much. I will see you Monday. Uh, do you have any plans for yes. this weekend? Yes, sleep. <laughs> Why don't? Sleep a lot. I hate weekends. Uh, I love weekends, but it's, it's the days I actually do the most things because... Um, my wife works on the weekend, so I am a full-time father. And I have to go to the supermarket. I have to go to the market. I have to do things in the house. I have to wash. I have to cook and take care of my son. So, <laughs> so I, and then suddenly, oh my God, it's Sunday night. And I, but I love it. I love doing it. <laughs> That's the best part. So I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you Monday. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Everybody. Good night, everybody. Anyway, bye, bye, Rodrigo Antonio Melendez. Good night. Oh my God, you. <laughs> bye, good night. Oh, <laughs> now you talk. <laughs>